Today we're going to be talking about 10 best training spots in Call of Duty Zombies and in this one I also got you covered on how to train in zombies and this video will also serve as how to get better at zombies if you have trouble passing round 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 say no more I got you my nibbas now we're going to start from world at W zombies can't say the last word because Papa YouTube is listening if you get what I'm saying but we're gonna have 12 best training spots in total two of them will be mentioned as honor roll mention you know how that goes because I, I just don't want to have a title that says 12 best training spots. I just want to have a 10 best training spot with two extra training spots if you get what I'm saying. But hey, these are the homies that actually subscribe to the channel and massive shout out to them. If you're new to the channel, hey, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video. And if you're an OG, hey, just guess the number between 1 and 100 and whoever gets it or uh, if you get closer to that number that I'm thinking of, I will put you in my next video. But at number 10, we have Shino Numa. Now we all know with DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles, we got World at W Zombies Maps Remastered, and Shino Numa has one of the best training spot ever. It's definitely the easiest one, whether you are playing the original Shino Numa or the remastered Shino Numa. Now you have this big ass area where you have a lot of trees and water. I know I'm going off topic here, but according to Google, water is not wet. If you know me, you know I like to make sure you know this. But anyways, guys, you could use so many strategies while training in here. You could do the snake strategy, which is essentially doing half half-ass circles and just going to the left and to the right. You could also very easily do a circle strategy in here as well. You could go clockwise or you could even easily go anti-clockwise if you want to as well. But you need to keep in mind that there's always going to be that one son of a gun that will be walking very slowly that could F up your strategy and you need to make sure you know when to run and when to stop running because you could easily get stuck and get your ass slapped by all the zombies behind you. At number 9, we have the Reese or the Giant, the map that started everything. Thing. And even my boy knows how to piss on a zombie on the giant if you get out the reference But hey, it's such a great map with probably the best wall gun that you can buy while you are training around Now if you like to sit your ass down and camp, guess what? You could do the catwalk strategy You could also buy the can 44 which is definitely the best wall gun in black ops 3 zombies that you can pair With dead wire pack a punch ability as well And this training spot is definitely the best one in this map You have a lot of variety, you could either do small circles, you can go up the stairs jump down and do this over and over or you could circle in this big ass room entirely or you could actually take the zombies to the middle where the power is and you also have the trap in here and in the room you have the can 44 like I said and the teleporter that could be really useful if you get a red screen or if you go down you could use it and try to get your perks back at number eight we have black ops 1 kino der totem or black ops 3 kino der totem remaster now the stage is the iconic training spot you would probably have known this now now, in Black Ops 1, you may have to hit the box over and over to get that one gun, probably the Thunder Gun and shit like that. And when you run out of ammo, you would have to do that again. But in Black Ops 3, say bye to that because we have the ICR as a wall gun instead of M16. And on top of that, in Black Ops 3, you have really good pack a punch abilities. And if you pair the ICR with Deadwire, you technically have a beast of a gun that you could unlimitedly buy ammo for from the wall. And if you get the Thunder Gun, then it's game over. You could even train in the alleyway and instead of buying the ICR, you could use the VMP with Deadwire. And as we all know, the VMP is the SMG, it will surely going to let you run and move faster due to its high ass mobility. At number 7, we have Ascension, the easiest zombies map of all time known to mankind. And in Black Ops 3, well... It is made super easy as well, but the only thing that is annoying about this map is of course the monkeys, but if you get nuke or you use the new gobble gum and time it correctly, you will have zero problem playing this map. It was just so easy in Black Ops 1 and hey, it is super easy in Black Ops 3 as well. You have gobble gums and pack a punch abilities that makes it super efficient and easy as well. Now this is where you want to train. You could call in the lander that could be used for a great escape if you're if you have a red screen or if you bend down you could use that to go and buy perks or you could use it to actually circle here efficiently. You also have Vittles Wine which is a great perk but it replaces my boy PhD Flopper but hey you definitely need to just circle around here. You can go in any direction you want to and you can change your direction even midway through as well with zero problems. It is ridiculously easy. At number six we have Call of the Dead. First of all I want to say RIP to George Romero. You will be forever alive for us regardless but hey Call of 
of the Dead is definitely one of my favorite map. I would love to see it remastered in the future. Uh, Treyarch, if you're listening, please make it happen for George, but hey, you have the best training spot outside of the lighthouse. If you're good at training, you can even train inside of the lighthouse, but just know George will get your ass down if you hurt him. And if you're training outside, well, you will be well if you don't open the lighthouse door from the bottom, because it will F up the zombie spawn. You have the AK-74, you as a wall gun here, and you have freezing water here as well that could calm George down when it's needed. And again, water is not wet, even if the water is frozen. Just want to make sure you know that. But anyway, circling is the big part of this training spot. You want to always try and hug the edges of this area and go up near the AK-74U and circle around just like I'm doing in the gameplay and you will have no problems whatsoever. But if you don't have Jug, then you gotta watch out because two-hit system is a no-no. At number five, we have Moon. Now for Moon, we have two best training spots. First of all, the Biodome, which is just a big-ass area, but we have this area as well where I recommend you train at. It is just super simple. You have the Gobble Gun Machine as well as the best wall gun, which is the Can 44 that you could pap and have double tap or I mean, you could pair that with double tap for sure, but you could also pap it and have dead wire on as well. And you could also hold the Wonder Weapon as your second gun or your primary gun. What I'm trying to say here, get the Can 44 and the Wonder Weapon and you will kill the strategy. I made a dedicated Moon strategy guide a while ago that I will link it in the description. You could make 30k points and that's like the minimum. You can even like make 60k on round 1 when you're at area 51. As soon as you start, that's what I'm saying. It is ridiculously good, but for training in here, it is really easy. I find the low gravity makes it easy, but it could also make it hard if you get cornered somehow. You also want to make sure that the astronaut don't slap your ass get rid of him as soon as you see him it is just super easy to take him down just like grill a couple of bullets and he'll be he'll fly away now you can circle around the box area or you could circle in this spot close to the door you just need to make sure you know when to run and when to stop running that's the biggest thing about the training strat here because of the low gravity at number four we have black ops 2 transit bb now the bus depot and the town training spots are all well and great we know that yeah yeah they are awesome but but nothing beats the farm training spot. It is a big ass training spot. You could circle here for days on end. You could do the snake strat here. You could slap zombies. It is just so, so good. You could even save the claymores in the corner and use them when you don't have ammo. But the only thing you gotta keep in mind here is that when the bus arrives, you need to go above. But first of all, you need to make sure you have upgraded the bus on the front and you have added the ladder because that's what you will take to go above the bus. And that will make my boy Ted move the bus fast so you can train efficiently in here as well. At number 3, we have Diaries. Now say bye to skills because seriously, you don't need them. All you need is Galvic Knuckles, Trample Steam, Claymore, um, that you can save in the corner, and 94, and the Slick for Fire. You could camp with the Slick for Fire, or even train if you would like to, but this video is all about training, so I'll talk about that. Now this poll is exactly what makes this training spot super, super easy. You do not need to worry about anything. Simply circle around, or you could go up of the pole and shoot your Slick for Fire and camp it out, you know what I'm saying? And every now and then, the crawlers will come around and you wanna use the trample steam on them and you wanna circle that, you wanna circle around the trample steam and you can easily take those crawlers out. I don't know what you call them, but uh, you will get a free perk bottle and a max ammo from them as well. Make sure you don't shoot them, if you if you do, then you won't get a free perk bottle. You can knife them with your Galvoc knuckle if you need to, but it depends on if you need a perk or not. If you don't want the perk, hey, you could simply go bozo on their ass and start shooting your guns and everything like that. Now, before we jump on to number two, I have two honorable mentions. Number one, Mob of the Dead. Now, there are a couple of reasons why I have this on my honorable mentions and not on the original list. Number one, because the title says 10 spots. And number two, I feel like the training spot in Mob of the Dead requires a little bit of skills. Now, the best training spot in Mob of the Dead is definitely the cafeteria training spot. You got claymores in here, you can also build a shield at any time, and you can get the shield anytime you actually break your shield. Mystery box could spawn in here too, and just outside you got yourself the MP5 wall gun, which could be really good. Let's say if you don't have ammo, you buy that, and it can make you a ton of points as well. And on top of that, there's this acid trap that that you can use. But the training is a little tedious. You need to be well aware because when the Brutus spawns in, he will F everything up and the zombies can easily corner you as well. So you want to circle around here, but you need to be well aware to make a move. Basically hug the edges of the room and gather all the zombies by just walking. If you see zombies in front of you, then run. Otherwise, you don't really need to.
to. And the second honorable mention goes to my boy, Revelation. I don't know, like, why I call that map my boy, because I seriously don't really like it that much. But once again, I have 10 spots mentioned in the title of this video, so that's that. And also, this map is really easy and a little boring to me as well. But the best training spot is definitely uh, the, the starting room area in Revelation. You can have the Apothecary Servant Pack Punch, the Thunder Gun Papped, with all chemical gobblegum and you are set. There's a gobblegum machine in the spawn, mystery box can spawn here as well and if you go down hey, you can easily buy quick revive and you can get juggernaut by just teleporting yourself to knock their untold on. Just say goodbye to skills because you don't really need them for this map. But at number two spot we have shadows of evil. Now I find there's two spots that are the best. We have the rift area which is just the humongous area uh, to train at. You got the pack punch in here, you got the gobblegum machine, Vidal's wine. You can also leave the area through portals at any time. You also got the beast mode, which is just super super efficient, and you can leave the portals at any time, like I said, uh, whenever you want. It is just straightforward. You can even use the trap on high rounds while having the Apothecary Servant and Lil' Arnie's as well. You also have the Vesper wall by, which can come in handy if you run out of ammo, but outside here, you have the advantage of fast zombie spawn. You can get the shield, you can call in the Civil Protector, and when the Margwa spawns in, you can go back to uh, the Rift area, and you also got the trap that you can use that is just down the stairs. At number one, without a doubt, if this video was a top 10 video, I know this video is not a top 10 video, but if this video was a top 10 video, I would still have their eyes on the red courtyard as the best training spot. You got the Kuda here as a wall gun that you can double pap. You got Wonder Spheres all around here and the shield that you can build inside the church, which is just like very close to it, right? And most importantly, you got that thread just above and you can even train there as well, which is just a plus. And when Papa Panzer comes on, hey, you can use the death ray and kill the Panzer easily with the with any gun you got. And if you got the bow, hey, Mama Sita, you know what I'm saying. If I have to take one or two maps for their training spot, I would definitely take their Eyes on the Rap and Kino their Totem. But let me know what would you pick and why in the comments and check out some other videos on the channel if you have missed any of them by clicking them on the screen right now. Subscribe if you happen to be new. And hey, drop a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you very freaking soon.